Earth armament is to destroy the enemy and to protect against attack. In some armament installations, the guns are mounted in a fixed position. To aim the guns, it is necessary to maneuver the plane to point at the target. A second type, installed in a flexible mount, is manually aimed by the gunner, making it possible to train the guns on the target without maneuvering the airplane. Another type is the power-driven gun turret. The gunner, located in the turret, aims the guns by controlling the turret driving power. And still another type is the central station fire control system. In this installation, the gunner is located apart from the gun turret or turrets. The gunner aims the sight at the target, and through power control, the guns in the turrets follow the movements of the sight. This system permits more convenient location of guns and gunners. Although installations of the Central Station fire control system vary, basically they work in the same way. The control of the turret by the sighting station is entirely electric. Each single electric system is made up of five basic units. The Selsen transmitters on the sighting station the Selton receivers and driving motors on the turret, the dynamotor, the servo amplifier, and the amplodyne generator. Power for this system is furnished by the electric power system of the airplane. We shall explain the relation of these parts to each other, how they work, and how they are connected. Power from the electric power system of the airplane is fed to the motor of the amplodyne generator and the motor of the dynamotor. The dynamotor generates alternating current for the servo amplifier and the Selsen transmitters on the sighting station. The Selsen transmitters on the sighting station are connected to the Selsen receivers on the turret. The Selsen receivers on the turret are also connected to the servo amplifier which, in turn, leads to the field of the amplodyne generator. The output of the amplodyne generator is connected to the motor on the turret. The motor on the turret drives the guns in the desired direction. When a gunner, in aiming his sight, moves it, for example, elevates it, the Selton transmitter on the sighting station sends a signal to the Selton receiver on the turret, where the positions of the sight and guns are compared. Are you pointing this way, Sam? says Joe from the sight. Uh-uh, no, no, says Sam. We're pointing this way. Then you better call Gus, says Joe. Hey, Gus! Yells Sam, waking up Gus in the amplifier. Gus checks the signal and goes into action.
sending an amplified signal to Eric in the Amplodyne generator. Eric turns on the driving power to elevate the guns on the turret. At the same time, down in the Selsen receiver, Joe and Sam watch as the turret drives the receiver around into alignment with the transmitter. Sam quickly signals. Okay, Gus! Gus and Eric turn off the signals and we find that the sight and guns are pointing in the same direction. Now let's lower the sight. The Selsen transmitter on the sighting station sends out a signal representing the sight position to the Selsen receiver on the turret, where the positions are again compared. Are you this way, Sam? Says Joe. No, says Sam. I'm pointing this way now. Sam calls Gus. Gus! Gus again checks the signal and sends it Amplified on to Eric in the Amplodyne generator. Eric turns on the power and the guns on the turret lower until they are in alignment with the sight. The Selsen transmitters on the sighting station are always sending out signal voltages that represent the position of the sight to the Selsen receivers on the turret. When the guns and sight are in alignment, no signal voltage goes out from the Selsen receiver. Hence, no power is applied to cause the guns to move. However, if the sight is moved, it turns the rotors of the Selsen transmitters and signal voltages representing this move are sent to the Selsen receivers on the turret. And now, the Selsen receiver sends a signal voltage to the amplifier, where it is amplified and sent on to the field of the amplodyne. With this field energized, the amplodyne generator supplies the power which causes the motor to elevate the guns. This movement of the guns drives the rotor of the Selsen receiver, and as the guns and sight come into alignment, the operating signals fade out, and the guns stop. If the sight is moved in the opposite direction, the characteristics of the signal voltage sent out from the Selsen receiver on the turret are changed. This causes the guns to, again, follow the motion of the sight. A similar system is used to turn the turret in either direction in azimuth. Hence we see that even though the turret is located apart from the sighting station, the guns automatically follow the gunner's line of sight. This is accomplished through electric control.